Vehicle Handling Part 1 This video covers Rain Drain covers in the road Skidding Snow and ice Hills Passing places Please note, this video contains some flashing images Ben! It's vehicle handling time! Oh my PT, what are you wearing? I thought I'd shake things up a bit. Especially as the weather isn't too nice. Hmm, okay. But you're going to take the sombrero off whilst we're driving, aren't you? Yes, don't worry. Unfortunately, there's not enough height for me to wear it in the car. Excellent. So what are we doing today? We'll climb on board and we shall see. It's a car, not a train. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Oh, just my normal. Jam on toast. Oh, here comes the rain. What do you think that we need to be wary of when driving in the rain, Ben? Our stopping distance will be increased? Yes, definitely. Do you know what else could affect our stopping distance? How fast we are going, and probably the condition of the tyres too. Yes, and yes. Our stopping distance will double in the rain, so you need to remember to keep your distance. Oh, and travel at a reduced speed. OK. Now, before we set off, let's turn on our dipped headlights. This will allow us to see and be seen better. Okie dokie. So let's turn right at the end of the driveway. Right, Ben. Be wary as the motorcyclist might steer around the slippery drain cover, as a motorcycle has less grip than a car. Oh, you were right. Yes, it makes sense for motorcycles to do that, so they don't skid. Can you remember what you need to do if your vehicle's rear wheel skid? Oh yes, steer into it and don't brake. That's right, you should release the brake whether you have ABS or not. By braking, you could cause the vehicle to skid further. Can you tell me what's the most common cause of skidding? Driver error? Correct. You should always drive according to the road and weather conditions. If there is water, snow or ice on the road, you should drive carefully and at a sensible speed for the conditions. In snow and ice, do you remember what you should also do? Hmm... Was it select a high gear? Yes, you should use as high a gear as possible to help prevent wheel spin. Just remember, you should only drive in snow if absolutely necessary. If you do have to drive, then you can attach snow chains to your tyres to give you more grip on the road. OK, so the stopping distance in the snow and ice can be up to ten times greater. Is that right? It certainly is. OK, so let's turn left at the next junction, Ben. OK, so remember that gravity will be working against us as we go up the hill so the engine will be working harder and will slow down a lot sooner. What do you think we can do to allow more power and help maintain speed? Select a lower gear? Spot on. When you're coming back down the hill, remember not to coast by holding the clutch in or drive in neutral as this will give you less control of the vehicle and it will start to pick up speed. You can use engine braking coming down the other side also by selecting a lower gear to help prevent brake fade. Yep. What would happen if your brakes don't work as normal when coming down the hill? If that happens, it's probably because they've overheated, but in any case you'll have to use engine braking to control the vehicle. OK. OK Ben, now we're going down the hill, you should feel the engine braking. OK. Yes, I can feel the car just maintaining its speed without me having to brake. OK Ben, so now we're entering a single track road. You'll therefore need to be wary of traffic coming in the opposite direction. OK, does the road have passing places? It certainly does. If there's a car coming towards you, pull into a passing place on the left. If the passing place is on the right, Stop opposite it to allow them to pass. OK. 
I think I've got it. Dad also went through this with me when we were coming back from the football match. Excellent. Very well handled, Ben. Thank you. It's that time again, folks. Recap time. Rain. Stopping distances in the rain will double, so you need to remember to keep your distance from the vehicle in front. You'll also need to travel at a reduced speed. Drains. Be wary as motorcyclists might steer around slippery drain covers, as motorcycles have less grip than a car. Skidding. If you start to skid, steer into it and do not brake. Release the brake whether you have ABS or not. By braking you can cause the vehicle to skid further. Driver error is the most common cause of skidding. Snow and ice. When driving in snow and ice, use a high gear to prevent wheel spin. Only drive in snow if absolutely necessary. You can attach snow chains to your tyres to give you more grip on the road. Stopping distances can be up to 10 times greater. Hills. Uphill. Gravity will work against you, so the engine will work harder and the vehicle will slow down a lot sooner. For more power, select a lower gear. Downhill. Do not coast or drive in neutral, as this will give you less control of the vehicle. Use engine braking to help prevent brake fade. Passing places. Be wary of traffic coming in the opposite direction. If there's a car coming towards you, pull into a passing place on your left. If the passing place is on the right, stop opposite it to allow the oncoming vehicle to pass.